Okay, we're going to do a training on functions of behaviors. Um, as an RBT, your job is to implement the behavior plans your BCBA designs for you. Okay, and all of these behavior plans are based on the function of the behavior. Okay, um, you should never talk about a behavior without first talking about the function. Um, any BCBA, when they're talking to another BCBA and they're talking about a behavior, first question that's always asked is, what is the function? It's the most important question you can ask and it's the most important answer you can know, okay? So every behavior plan you work with is designed around the function of the behavior, okay? So if you don't know the function of the behavior, you can't treat the behavior correctly, okay? And you can't do your job correctly, all right? So if you don't know anything else about the client or the behavior or anything, you need to know the function, okay? So from here on out, whenever you're talking about behavior, okay, always think what is the function, all right? So we're gonna go over each of them, there's four, okay? And we're gonna talk about um, basic extinction for each of them and give a few examples, okay? So when you think about behavior, all right, behavior happens to typically to get something or get rid of something, okay? So what are not functions? Frustration is not a function. Mad is not a function. Um, their disability or their autism is not a function, okay? Those aren't the reasons the behavior is, is happening, okay? Now, yes, they could play a part, but we don't define or treat behavior based on that because you can't measure that. Um, you don't know for sure, okay? So the way we treat behaviors are based on four functions that we can measure, okay? These are the four functions you need to know. So from here on out, okay, you need to memorize these. And anytime you're talking about behavior, you need to be talking about functions, okay? So what are they? Attention, okay, escape, tangible, or item, and then self-stimulation, or automatic, okay? So these are the four behaviors, or four functions, okay? Whenever you're talking about it and a behavior happens or you're being supervised and your BCBA asks you, well, why do you think it's happening? One of these should be your answer, okay? You should have some sort of guess, hypothesis, idea, okay? Don't say it's happening because they're mad or they're frustrated. It's happening because they are trying to get attention. Um, they're trying to escape the task. They're trying to get the iPad um, or it's self-stimulatory, it's automatic. Okay, so if you're dealing with attention, what is attention? Attention is the most common one um, and it's exactly what it sounds like. They're trying to get your attention, they're trying to get parents' attention, brother's attention, supervisor's attention, okay? They might be screaming, yelling, running away, hitting, kicking, throwing things, um, whatever they can do to get the focus on them, okay? Typical extinction, okay, would be ignore or withhold attention, okay? So if you wanna put it on extinction and stop reinforcement, well, you wouldn't give them attention, you would, um, ignore them or withhold attention, right? What about escape? Um, escape would be most commonly given a task demand, they run away, they go under the table, they throw the material, they refuse to work, okay? They're escaping an undesirable situation, all right? The typical extinction would be follow through, okay? So if they're trying to escape and reinforcing the behavior would be letting them escape, then following through with the task would be extinction, okay? So whenever you think it's escape, typically you're going to be asked to follow through with that whatever task demand that you've given, right? The third is a tangible or an item. So typically that's going to be like the iPad or some sort of technology, but it could be food, it could be other toys, um, it could be books, um, anything that they can gain access to that they want, um, that's going to be the third function, okay? So what is 
typical extinction would be withhold item. Okay, so if they're aggressive or they're um, yelling or um, running away or um, destroying things to try to gain access to the iPad, then extinction would be withholding the iPad. Okay, so you're withholding the item just like attention when you're ignoring or withholding attention with the tangible function, you're going to withhold that item typically for extinction. Okay. And then extinction for automatic reinforcement or self stimulatory re reinforcement. Um, this is probably the hardest one to treat because almost anything can be self stimulatory. Um, a lot of times in our kids, it's the verbal scripting, it's hand flapping, it's humming, um, it's rocking back and forth. But things like biting your nails, tapping your pencil, tapping your fingers, twirling your hair, um, all those things could be considered self stimulatory, right? Automatic reinforcement. Um, when we say automatic reinforcement, that means you don't need somebody else to give you reinforcement. Okay, you're reinforcing yourself. Okay, that's why it's so difficult to, to put this on extinction. Okay. I mean, the most typical way is response block. Okay. But when you're dealing with self-stimulation, you really need to refer to your behavior plan or your BCBA for guidance on how to address it. Okay. So again, don't make it more complicated than it is. You need to know these four functions, attention, escape, tangible, self-stimulation. Okay. And from here on out, you should never talk about a behavior, okay? And you should never address a behavior or try to treat a behavior without knowing what function it is, okay? So if, whenever you get supervised and your BCBA asks you, well, why is it happening? One of these four should be your answer, okay?